Good morning, everyone, and welcome once again to the Daily Pigeon Live. My name's Andy Bumatai, and I will be your host. On this show, primarily, we play uh, custom-made music videos, most of which feature places in Hawaii. And we chat when uh, subjects come up. And for the first five minutes of the show, we, before we play our first music video, uh, we say good morning to people. So if you're watching this on a rerun, you can fast forward five minutes, but you'll miss me saying things like, Hey, good morning, love, Pat Pat. How's it, Vicky Asato? Thanks for being here. Papi Cheney, mahalo for showing face once again. Wild Willie, the original dis in the house. Aloha, Helen. Uh, Helen. <laughs> Ellen, I just talked to my friend Helen. Ooh, muscle memory. Uh, Ellen, good morning to you. And there's DJ Smook. Aloha, no. Hey, how's it? Um, Brian, aloha. we got to scroll down for catch everybody. Chat moving quick like a swift. Ass how right there. Um, Leo Lani, uh, aloha. Thanks, Ed, for being here once again. I always forget the dash 11 part, but that's okay, I guess, right? Hey, Duck Draws, how are you? Thanks for being on the Daily Pigeon Live. Gil Soto, goof morning, y'all. Aloha no. How's it, Dan Lozano? Uh, what, lunch break action or you uh, got a day off? Your schedule always amazes me how much you work. And that's a good thing, isn't it? Yep, that's how right there. Uh, Vicky Asato saying, how's it to Gil Soto, Duck Draws, and Dan Lozano. And there's Duck Draws in the flesh. How are you? Thanks, Ed, for being here. Pokole T. Aloha no. Hey, GB, thanks for hosting the show. I appreciate that. How's it? Okay, let's see who else we get showing face over here. GB flashing some tacos. Yeah, guess why? Because it's toes day. Oh, man, count your toes. Make sure they're all there. <laughs> and if my friend Travis is watching, uh, <clears throat> ignore that last comment. I'll explain that later. We'll see if he shows up. I'm not sure. Spent an hour and a half talking to a friend uh, yesterday. What a great time we had. He's in Utah now. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see who else is here. See Honda, our moderationist, one of them right there. Let's see who else is in the house. Shakalaka, how you beef stew? Yeah, Shakalaka showing face uh, that she's our our. I almost said world traveler, but I guess that counts if you're cruising around Hawaii. What time we got? Oh, four minutes, one more minute till our first music video. And that will take us, uh, I think it's uh, through Tantalus. Yeah, okay, a little Kenny Roberts here early in the morning starting things off. Ooh, nice B-roll of Pearl Ridge. Oh yeah, thank you. This is, um, well, this is just raw footage of me uh, cruising around, give us something to spock on eyes while we say how's it to people like <gasps> small black rabbit in the house. There we go. Okay, hey, Vix. Oh man, you it always surprises me when I see people who work at night early in the morning like this because it's only 6 04 a.m. here in Hawaii, where we broadcast from. So Vix chillaxin. Mahalo for being here. Hey, how's it, Darlene? Nice and early. Eh? There you go. Making it in just as the clock turns to 6.05 and time for our first music video. And like I said, this is Kenny Roberts and it takes us through um, Tantalus. Let's spock an eyes on. Here we go. Love that opening groove. Let me get out of your way. <sighs> Baby, when I'm with you, it's like standing in the rain. I have no happy thoughts about you. All I have is pain. People say that love's a really crazy, crazy game. It'll never be the 
in the house. Kenny Roberts, there he is. Hold on now. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, man. Okay. Well, let me check and make sure this is, in fact, working. There you go. Yeah, I always got to check my cameras. You never know if they're up early like we are. Yeah, <laughs> it's a rough one, I got to tell you. Let's see. Uh, can you see the, uh, the window on this one yet? Yeah, see, it's still dark outside. Just yeah, starting to get light a little bit. Uh, and uh, by the way, thanks to all the people, uh, you know, who joined us on the YouTube show yesterday. Uh, I just, in, in, you know, just kind of impromptu, bing, 
decided to go on YouTube yesterday. We ended up spending two and a half hours goofing around. And it was fun because there were a lot of people there that used to uh, frequent the show when we were on YouTube. And then they're like, hey, oh, I thought this show ended. <laughs> you know, it's funny how you change platforms and people figure, wow, what's going on? Oh, this song sounds so good on earbuds. Oh, really? Oh, and you're up in your game there a little bit, Wild Willie, huh? Checking it out. Yeah. Um, I was, uh, I got some nice phone calls yesterday. I don't know if you've ever had those kind of phone calls where, and I do this every once in a while, you know, where you just call somebody, hey, how's it? I'm calling you for no reason. <laughs> and then, what? Yeah. Anyway, a friend of mine, Travis McKenna, um, I spoke to him for probably, uh, God, an hour and a half yesterday. Um, he was somebody that uh, I, I met on, on a movie that we did. Uh, you might know him. He was the big guy in um, Roadhouse, uh, the, the movie Roadhouse. He, he had this giant red shirt on, and he was one of the bouncers, the biggest cat. Anyway, um, we met on a movie and hit it off and, and have been um, friends ever since. And that, that movie we did was, man, 30 years ago or something. Got to be over 30 one something like that i remember because my son was born while i was on location uh doing that movie oh you remember him puppy cheney yeah yeah it was uh we had a we had a nice long talk he was catching up he's in utah like i said he used to live in la and then uh, now he found a place over there he likes horses and and that kind of stuff so uh anyway so uh, for those of you who may just be joining us, um, if you are, um, you know, from Hawaii or, you know, just kind of interested in the place and you remember a neighborhood, let me know what it is. Because um, like I said, most of our videos go through places in Hawaii. Not all of them. But uh, for instance, this next one uh, doesn't show locations in Hawaii, but it does showcase one of our favorite things early in the morning. And uh, that's coffee. You want me to wake up, but I'm strangled in my sleep. You want me to shape up. But in my dreams I found relief You want me to wake up But I've been out for so long How's it SMBR? Aloha! Got plugs in my ears Got plugs in my soul Just one Bruce! Aloha no! Dwayne Austin, how's it? But you struggle in your sleep. All the way from New York, huh? I want you to shape up. But in your dreams, you feel relief. You I want you to wake up. But I've been up for. Uli Uli Aloha Kakahi Aka Mahalo for the 200 biddies. Wow, early at you. Thanks. Yeah, 
that was nice seeing Ku'u Aloha. I guess she's feeling better, but 6 a.m. kind of early for her. She lives in Hilo, eh? Hilo side. Shakalaka, mahalo for the hundred biddies. Thanks, eh? Yeah, she was there, a pokoliti, and chatting, and like the old days. It was good fun. My avatar crush. Yeah, Michael. I don't. I don't know what happened. Um, yeah, how's it? Lono po uli uli saying how's it to people. But yeah, Michael. Um, we had good fun. Um, you know, and it was one of those things. The joke was we couldn't say good night. You know, you you hang up first. Hey, Cindy Krause. How's it? Wow. Thank you for the hundred biddies. I appreciate it. Thanks, sir. Um, yeah, you sent me two new things, and I had to, you know, it's one of those deals where you send them to me, and then I got to ask you for access, and then you got to give me access, and then I got to go back again. You know, I wish there was a way that you could just send it without that back and forth stuff, but I know, I guess it's, we deal with the technology as best we can, don't we? Yes. I think uh, Ku'u Aloha lives on the Kona side. You know, you may be right, uh, Rick S. Oh, see, she should be here to be able to let us know that in person. But again, I guess uh, it's a challenge to get up this early. Believe me, I know a little about that. <laughs> I know sometimes I'm like, oh, man, I got to tell you. Uh, but eh, this reminds me of when uh, I used to work construction with my dad, you know, when I was a kid. My, my dad was, he had this weird thing. I mean, you know, uh, again, he did the best he could. I'm not faulting him for this. But he would do this thing. Okay, you and your brother, you're going to take a week off from uh, school. We were in high school, like ninth, 10th grade, you know. Yeah, you're going to help me, uh, you know, work construction. Come on, get in the truck. We're getting up tomorrow, 4.30. And, you know, and, you know, man, you know how hard it is to get up when you're in high school at 4.30 to go to work? And he did this thing where he would start the welder, you know. That was the alarm clock. He wouldn't come in our room and wake us up. He'd start that giant welder that he towed behind his truck, right? Much to the chagrin of the neighbors. Hey, hi, Darlene. Thank you for the 200 biddies, right? And i never forget, you know, when they start up, and then when they idle down, there's that little, there's that pipe and that, that thing in the top so the rain doesn't go in it, right? There's a little thing and it would go ding, 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 ding. To this day, I hear that noise. <laughs> oh, I should use that as my ringtone. Believe me, I would answer the phone. Oh, yes, just one, Bruce. Yeah, I do miss the afternoon streams. Can only watch the morning shows except when I'm playing hooky from work like today. <gasps> oh, ooh, okay. Yeah, I know. It's just that, 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 you know, it's fun to do those afternoon shows, but it's right in the middle of trying to do anything else, which is editing or going out to shoot. And, you know, if, if I had a crew to, to help me, do stuff maybe i could do that a little better but man it's just one of those things but it was so much fun you know and and youtube it's weird it it has like its own kind of groove you know people were saying they missed uh a lot of the twitch stuff you know hey look roulette circle speaking of people we haven't seen in a while how's it ru a roulette circle mahalo for being here okay yeah, well, I was saying that we play a lot of videos that uh, showcase Hawaii, and I tend to not play the ones that don't. So I'm going to play a few of those today. And uh, Rick, you can go get another cup of coffee. Uh, Rick S., you can go get another cup of coffee because I know you don't like country stuff. So <clears throat> this is your uh, break. <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, is is that what you meant, uh, Nani Aloha? Uh, turn on the alert box because uh, yeah, it's on. It was uh, it was on from early on. <laughs> I know, I'm dragging a little bit. And again, this is the effect of doing the show yesterday, you know, goofing around. And not only that, it it blows a hole in my whole, okay, I've already pay, played that video because we played a whole bunch of them on the other side. And now I'm like, you know what this reminds me of? I, I remember when I was doing stand-up comedy a lot, right? At one point, I decided I'm not going to do two shows anymore, right? I used to, you know, it would, you know, the regular stuff. Shows seven and ten, you know? And I stopped doing the, the ten o'clock shows and then would do one show at eight instead. And people would say, ah, getting too old for that, that late show, huh? And I said, no, it's not that. It's that um, if, if you do, when you do the second show, in your mind, you're wondering, did I already do that bit? You know, and even though the audience changes in your mind, it's like, you know, I guess it's kind of compared to a DJ and they have a bunch of records or what I'm doing here now. And you're like, did I play that one already? Because, you know, you have set bits that you do. And my show was always a jumble of I would mix things up and stuff. I never really did it exactly the same way every time. And uh, so then finally I just said, hey, you know, what? I'm only going to do one because it's less things to think about. Yeah, yeah, I know. Plus, uh, yeah, I know we were on two and a half hours. Can you believe that? What am I hearing? Oh, garbage trucks. No, no, no. <gasps> I hate that feeling. You ever be in bed, hear garbage trucks, and wonder if you were, and you can't remember, speaking of remembering, if you put your, uh, your can out or not? Ugh, I hate that feeling. And you run out there, you know, all bodo bodo bare feet, and there it is. Oh, I did put it out. <sighs> rough sometimes I know okay Aloha you're watching Andy Bumatai's Daily Pigeon Live on Twitch I'm Lily Pup and when my human watches she relaxes and I get lots of extra scratches oh yeah keep at it right there or or maybe right here yeah Oh, yeah, right between the eyes. That's the ticket. Ha 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 ha. So nice. Ah. How's it, Andre? Thanks for being there yesterday. Yeah, Papi Cheney. I've still never been on TikTok. How's it, book, book? Gotta dye your hair gray. <laughs> or at least one of the colors. <laughs> yep, that's it, Jimmy. Yeah, or wondering if you did when you leave the house or the iron. I guess they're auto off now mostly though. Yeah, irons.
Really? Well, that surprises me. <laughs> Watch, three A's. Ooh, make A. The lint in the dryer vents is flammable. Yeah, you know, um, <clears throat> I was reading some, uh, one of those, uh, you know, camping hints sites. I don't know how I ended up there. Anyway, and they said if you if you were, you know, thinking about starting fires when you go camping, that taking dryer lint is one of the best ways, you know, if you're going to do that. You know, not with a match, but I mean, you know how people like rub sticks and stuff to, to get fires going? They said one of the uh, best uh, things to put is dryer lint. So, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Dryer lint being very flammable. Man, what? Vaseline is the best to start a fire? Man, you got to really rub, yeah, to, to get Vaseline to explode. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Oh, hey, look, and Pocoletti says, Papi Cheney, duh, you reminded me that we have security cameras so I can see video images on my cell. Should save us a drive home next time. Well, yeah, you know, because you, you always want to be able to go, well, hold on, let me let me just check something, you guys. Oh, hold on for a second. Uh, wait. 
Oh, no. Oh, no, look. I forgot to turn my brain on. Uh, okay. Oh, I got, I got to go back. Okay, sorry about that. Wow. Those security cameras are the best, aren't they, you guys? So I got a, uh, what's this? Andy, did you get my email about the Spotify playlist? Oh, yeah, I did. I was, I, in fact, um, yesterday when I was on um, YouTube, I had your playlist up over here, and I was using it as background, um, you know, uh, music once in a while. You know, like when I was yakking like this, I would throw in the playlist because I have license to use all those songs. So thank you. It was very helpful. You can share that playlist. I'm, I'm surprised that, you know, people would want to hear those after me, you know, playing them so much on the show here. But yeah, it was fun to see them all listed like that. And, and um, the downside, of course, is that, you know, when you hear the songs, right, you kind of see the video. <laughs> you know, and uh, I remember in the early days of MTV, people saying, ah, stop doing that because I like to uh, think of my, you know, cong you know, like conjure up my own images when, when I hear a song. And now when I hear the song, I see, like, how can you not hear that? Eh, na, 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 like that Miles, uh, the song Miles likes so much without seeing that downtown image. Yeah. Yay. Okay. I'm glad. Oh, there you go. You know, I got an interesting email. Maybe you guys can help me with this. Uh, hey, what's this? Andy, can you play Mr. Moon for Cindy? Oh, okay. Uh, let me cue that up and then uh, while I'm yakking here. But, um, you know, I got an interesting email uh, yesterday, and it was somebody doing research um, and on um, Pigeon, but this is the interesting Twitch, Twitch, Twist, um, there were in, it, it was deaf people within the p pigeon community, and I guess this person is researching uh, hand signs, right? And they were asking, uh, she was asking me in this email, do I know of any um, pigeon hand signs? In other words, if you were deaf, I mean, like, you know, mm, can I do this? Yeah, you know, this would be okay, but what? This is this would be no more, right? And and you know, I, I, and I I stopped I started thinking. And she said, "I'm asking you cuz when I, I watch you talk, you use your hands a lot. How many of those gestures that you do are are you know, um what what do you call specific to pigeon?" Huh? Do you guys have any hand signs that you think would, uh, would <laughs> you know, constitute as pigeon hand signs? I know. Look at that. Whoa, pigeon sign language. Cool. Well, I, she wasn't, she was asking about it. I don't know. Andy, I really <clears throat> get to concentrate on the song lyrics and not worry about missing the chat or video. Oh, I get it. Okay. Yeah, that, that that's your... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know how you can share that, a Wild Willie. I think uh, there might be a few people who would enjoy that. I'm not sure. Uh, you never know with those two. Hey, Shaka. Yeah, the Shaka sign, uh, guaranteed, that's that's one, right? But then no more, right? Ah, no more. You know, hey, but I want, hey, well, you get one, uh, you get Jamba Cable. <laughs> that's no more, but isn't that, um, does, doesn't everybody do that as no more? Right? No more? Oh, 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 or how about, eh, never mind. Right? That's the kind of never mind, right? <laughs> oh, anyway. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Cindy, uh, here you go. Um, and, yeah, um, sorry for your loss recently. I know. Um, in fact, should we do that? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, look, I hope you don't mind me mentioning this. Uh, but uh, you remember Cindy's dog, Charlie? Yes. Well, he crossed the bridge recently, uh, and I'm sure he had a wonderful life if he lived with uh, Cindy. I hope you don't mind me doing this, and it's not too much of a heartbreaker for you, Cindy. But, oh, having been there, <sighs> I feel it. So, aloha, Charlie. Hey. Come on, it's time for the Daily Pigeon Live with Andy Bumatai, where you stay. Charlie, 
Hey, Charlie, it's time to get up. You're going to miss the show. Tired of being lonely How can I Feel so wanted and free Hope it turns out well, Michael Is that all that I have In me Mr. Moonshine Shine your light Down on me Yes yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Moonshine Shine The night and it sees all our fears live each one through time they never disappear while we sleep and run in our dreams and the light that keeps calling me Mr. Moon shine your shine That's a good one, just one, Bruce. Mahalo, Google. <laughs> Thanks, Andre. Yeah, I, I. I assume there must have been, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, uh, sign language. That's why it was interesting that um, she would, you know, because, hey, if you speak, you know, if you're deaf and you grow up, you know, you know, <laughs> back in a valley in Kalihi, um, you know, I got to, you know. And, and I don't know who it was who mentioned that the, the syntax of sign language um, is... Um, very you know similar to pigeon because because of the way you know the the structure is like there was a uh, there was a, a a gal who used to follow a show I did years ago and she would send me emails and she, she was deaf right but she wrote how she signed and I and I remember I got back to her I said you know did you grow up in Hawaii because it sounds like you're trying to write pigeon and she says no um, that's how you know, she signs. So it was very interesting. But, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to write that lady back and say I am by no means <laughs> the bellwether on Hawaiian pidgin English, pidgin English sign language. So, you know, hey, Big Greg, how's it? Good morning to you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're uh, 44 minutes into the show. Mahalo for being here. I know, still early. I don't care how early. Yeah, but but um, um, just one Bruce, you know, this one is Kapu, you know, and no, oh, no, brother, can I come in here? Can I come in here? So that's a good one, you know, and this one is, eh, never mind you. That's the one, you know, eh, you know, remember when you're a small kid, you try to talk to your parents, daddy, we can't play with the holes. Eh, oh, mama, 
Habot mo kain. I know. Po, yep, Cindy. Oh, condolences for the passing of your little friend. Oh, oh two, uh, let's see. Two fingers scooped toward the mouth, signed for eating poi. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. What? Ah. Whee. Ah. No, would be, ah, no more. <gasps> Ooh. What is habut? What, 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 would be, what would be one good one for habut? Oh, no, that's, oh, hey, wop your jaws. Yeah, that's another one. Hey, wop your jaws, right? When we, were, when we were in high school, you know, somebody like miss a basketball shot. We wouldn't even say what what you wipe your jaws. We go like this, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so we get the poi, we get the eh, never mind, we get the kapu. Yeah, let's see what else, what else we get. Maybe I'll send her a little video. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oops. Oh, uh, we get shaka. Uh, oh mean. Oh oh, wipe your jaws. What kind of plenty coming up here? I'll send her to Keone. <laughs> yeah, he probably knows something. Yeah, their uh, daughter too says uh, pigeon. The cost they broke. Uh, A S L subject car verb stay. Oh yeah. Oh, do you do you know about that uh, daughter too? Yeah, the cost they broke. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Very very close. Hey, hey, Pekelo seven seven seven. What, <clears throat> bro? You live Vegas or what with the seven seven seven? Huh? Pekelo. Ah, how's that? Good morning to you. Don't think we've seen you here before. Welcome to the Daily Pigeon Live. Let me sh showcase my fancy graphic for po uh, Pekelo. Oh, hey, Pekelo. So uh, what neighborhood did you grow up in uh, Hawaii? We may have a video that goes through your old stomping grounds. Let us know. Hey, look, everybody's saying how to Pekelo. Aloha no. Hey, how you, brother? Look, there we go. Um, what is this? The game tonight, no wonder. What? Six, twenty thousand dollars for a courtside seat? I don't care. Uh, I don't know if I'd see the stones for twenty thousand bucks. <gasps> uh, Nuuanu, Nuuanu. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's uh, let's welcome Pekelo Nuuanu. I, I, w w what's the one that? Oh, okay. Hey, Pekelo, this is for you. Welcome to the Daily Pigeon Live. I woke up this morning and put on a colorful robe. I glide down the staircase, feel as good as the sun is golden. Some OJ in my tallest glass. Eggs over easy, cause I'm over you at last. I hear the news, paper boy, biking up the street. He's shouting today's headlight. Sounds like music to me. For the 300 bitties Got my to-do list It's been building for a while Cause last month all I did Was sleep and cry Found a box of your things That I sit on your lawn Brought that news paper in Rang your doorbell Then I run Andre, mahalo for a 300 buckets in the bucket. Aloha, Gil.
I'm at the grocery store Dancing through the aisles Picking out all the things That you said Were too unhealthy Extra, extra Read all about it Today was the day that I Discovered I'm better off without it She had strong Okay, bro, my friend get loud out. We go get him. Ah, what's your shoes, huh? <laughs> Hanging for the wire. Oh, mean, you bugger. Oh, isn't that, how weird is that? You know, that's the second time that happened, right? Uh, you know, somebody new comes here, we play a video, and they go, hey, that's my house. That's my street right there. That also happened when we went through, uh, who was it? Uh, oh, Kunia. Somebody, when we went through Kunia, and they, what, well, bro, that was my house on the corner. I love when that happens. Oh, look at this. Hey. And by the way, uh, Pekelo, uh, we, we are um, <clears throat> we're talking about Hawaiian sign language. I got, a, I got an email from someone who was asking me about different things. You would think that um, they would, or maybe she does think I'm Portuguese. <laughs> I was thinking, man, you should talk to Portuguese people. Those guys, they talk with their hands like nobody's business, you know. Uh, I bet you they have all kinds of signs, right? But you know when people have babies and the babies are sleeping and they don't want to wake them up, parents get all kinds of sign, sign language that they use. Yeah, <laughs> when they would, my my uh, wife and I, in fact, were, we we use it with the grandkids. You know, when when we're trying to see if they're sleeping, you know, we go we do that. Like it's the eyes, it's the eyes closed, and then you then you go, or, or. You know, you carrying the baby because you can't look, right? Yeah, unless you go to the mirror or something, you know. Oh my goodness, <laughs> yeah. That that that's our eyes closed. Yeah. Ah, oh, Gil Soto taking off. Yeah, hey, Gil. Ooh, then I wonder if the oh combat since it's a single engine. Oh, you guys talking airplanes again? I have your footage. Uh, Poppy Cheney sent me. A footage that he shot from his plane of the fires and it you know it's you can see the fire and the smoke and it, you know he's obviously flying over it I'm trying to figure out what to do with that I think uh, puppy chain I'm gonna end up just showing it because I it, you know I, I don't want it to you know it's I guess there's a shelf life on it because you probably put that fire out by now but still um, you know, oh, it's breathtaking. It's like, man, I, I can't imagine being a plane going, okay, I think I'm going to fly into that. Oh, God, I give you credit, Papi Chini. Mean. Hey, hi, Love Pat Pat. I'm here. Sorry I'm late. Oh, Love Pat Pat, you were one of the first people to, uh, when we were running the pre-show, I saw you say, hey, how's it? Good morning. So I like, maybe you had to take off and came back, yeah. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Oops, switch that around. Oops, what, what, what? No, well, at least I didn't notice. I'm sure someone has. Hello, my family. Oh, aloha, love, pet, pet. How are you? Yeah. I like when you go to other uh, channels, love, pet, pet, and, and people, they, hey, hi, love, pet. They don't do the second pet. I don't know what. Unfortunately, the fire is still going. It's in the Dixie Fire Center in Chico, California. You know what? Hold on. <clears throat> I'm going to try something here. Um, it's toes day, so, you know, 
Uh, let me see if I can find. Uh, oh, no, it's going to take me. I'm just going through all these um, my emails and see if I could drag one out. But, but I've got too many of them here. Let me, let, well, what if I did, if I try to search? Hold on, I'll, I'll I'll spend just a little more time on this, and no, it's not gonna happen. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So let's see. Dixie fire started near paradise. Oh no, not paradise again. Or paradise. My mom lived there for 12 years, you know. Paradise that burned completely. Yeah. And uh, when it, you know, and then she moved out six months bef after 12 years of living there. She moved out six months before it was devastated. And she lost so many friends. Oh, man. Okay. Taking off, Miles. Okay. Right on. Yeah. Aloha. Okay. Oh, uh, let's play a video. I'm kind of. I, I think I'm yakking more because of that YouTube thing had an effect on me. I had so much fun uh, yakking about stuff over there. Okay, what's this? Hey, broken soul, mahalo for gifting five subs. You bugger, mean. Thanks, eh? Huh? Oh, okay. Let's go, Big Island. <laughs> Mahalo again, broken soul. And you'll be happier without me. Push me out to sea, baby. There's nothing left for you to do. We did our best with our love. Okay, now this is going to be super clunky, but I have um, Puppy Cheney's email up here. 
Hey, Andre, mahalo for the 300 biddies. Thank you so much. Okay, and I'm going to try to play the videos from the email so I don't have to pull it off because I want you guys to see this, okay? So again, this is going to be clunky. I might have to make some adjustments here, but let's see if I can do this here. If I go here, oh, look at that. It works. Okay, wait, if I slide this, oh, but I don't, oh, you know what? I have to bring the, hold on, bring this more like that. Okay, there. Okay, there, and then if I slide this over, no, okay. Maybe bring this in just a little. Yeah, there. Okay. Here's the first one. You, sh you should even be able to hear the plane, but uh, here, here. You know, let me turn the sound down. Yeah. But here, this is, this is the, uh, this is the video. This is one of the videos. There's three of them. But imagine you're in a plane driving around, I mean, flying around and like, would you fly through those clouds? Okay, that's one. Okay, hold on. Okay, now I'm gonna go up. This is the second one. You see, you can actually see the flames in there, right? Hold on, look at this. Okay, wait. Take the sound down a little bit. I know. Poppy Cheney, look at that. Wow. You see the flames? Look at that. Whoa. Okay, and then there's one more here. Let me let me slide up. Wow, look at that. I mean, it's just amazing. I want to go back and play that second one again where you can see the flames because I think uh, a post got in there in the middle of it. But look at this here. This is, uh, I know, whoa, when was this? Um, Jenny, this was like two days ago or something. Well, the, the date, yeah, was the, it was the 8th. He sent me this on the 18th, okay? So I'm guessing it was from that day. Wow, look at that, Poppy Janie. Intense, dude, whoa. I know, Poppy Janie, whoa. You let go the wheel and take the video. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to play this second one again because you this one in this one you can actually see the flames here. You see the you see the flames right there. Look at that. Wow. So amazing. Oh, yeah. Cheers to the videographer. Yeah, that's Poppy Cheney. He, uh, he, he's flying his plane, uh, Jenny, and he, and he sh I guess, you know, one hand on the wheel, and, you know, I'm surprised the cop, hey, keep two hands on a wheel gun, fun and what you trying for do? Oh, uh, <laughs> I know. See, look at that. OMG, fire. That's how I right there. Oh man. Anyway, Poppy Cheney, I'm sorry I couldn't uh but you know what? That 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 was kind of cool. Yeah. Raw footage. I was gonna try to edit together and do something cool, but I couldn't figure out what to put around it. So eh, things work out well. Whoa, look at that. Thank you, Poppy Cheney, for being the eyes in the air for those on the ground. Good air support. Yeah, I know. Boy, imagine what a bonus that is to know where that fire is, you know. Whoo, yeah, no, I didn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> Wild Willie, uh, I appreciate me, including me in that, but we got, we have a brave aviator here flying around. And I got to imagine, you know, that smoke and clouds and stuff shift suddenly, suddenly you're like, uh-oh, where am I, you know, but I know there's training and they do that, but man, you know, you you hear him talk about, oh, I'm, I'm, I go, you know, when we have a fire here and we're doing that. And then when you see it, you're thinking, what? Ah, man, amazing. Thank you, Puppy Cheney, for your service. Andy, look at this here. Brave man, that puppy. In Arizona, we just had a fire chief and pilot doing the same thing, and the plane was struck by lightning 
and went down sad. Yeah, well, you know, people don't realize that fire and smoke and all that kind of stuff, it messes up the whole atmospheric thing. And, you know, it doesn't surprise me that then, oh, that is sad. You are so right. And Nani Aloha said, that was really something. I To think fire near Chico is still uh, going to, st to string... Oh, going strong. Yeah, yeah. Um, that fire is still going strong. Wow. Oh, what? I didn't hear about this. Yes, uh, Chico and Paradise. And there were people, you know, there were a few people who weren't devastated in, in um, Paradise or, or went back and decided they're going to rebuild. And imagine you're there and going, no, not again. I know. Andy, we have monsoons that probably caused lightning strike. Sad. They do lose a few fire uh, aviators every year. Shh, don't say that. <laughs> I know maybe. You know, it's got to, they lose just pilots in general. I mean, you know, I remember um, <clears throat> uh, one time I was interviewing uh, this brother, uh, you know, when I was doing the motorcycle show, and, and I asked this... Um, um, he was the president of a motorcycle club, <clears throat> and I said, what do you say when people tell you m riding a motorcycle is dangerous, right? And he said, hey, you know how many people sleep in their bathroom, taking a shower every day and die? Get plenty, you know. But, hey, people still bathe, eh? Huh? <laughs> I don't know why that really stuck with me. Oh, man. Okay. This goes out to Poppy Cheney, reminding you, hey, brah, stay safe. Holding my head again Making my way through crowded thoughts Sometimes it's hard to get out of it Broke my heart in the dark I was just trying to feel something Falling asleep to the sound of it Always used to let you clean up the mess Just down on my knees Thought I couldn't stand up on my own Turns out sometimes he's stronger alone Bringing out the fight, yeah, bring on all the lightning Cause I'm looking for a hero, look inside the mirror I find one, oh Carry the hurt when it gets too hard Pick it up, dust it off When I fall down 11, I get up 12 Don't need nobody else, yeah, I save myself got burned but i learned our scars make us who we are now i'm 10 feet tall over my demons remind me no one's got me like myself yeah i love me without any help i'm the best thing to believe in so i'm bringing out the fight yeah bring on all the Cause I'm looking for a hero Look inside the mirror I find one Oh, carry the hurt when it gets too hard Pick it up, dust it off When I fall down 11, I get up 12 Don't need nobody else Yeah, I, I can save myself But I got a million reasons why I won't Cause this heavy is a season And the sun is always right behind the storm
Yeah, there are so many dangerous things out there, you know, and um, <laughs> book, book, Chris Graves. <laughs> Coconuts are what <laughs> is dangerous. Those buggers fall, they hit like one Mack truck. You know, I'll never forget, um, you know, one time I parked in my friend's yard, right? And his grandmother came out, real tutu action. No, park over there. Move your car, more front. Huh? Excuse me? Move your car, no park over there. And I'm thinking, well, they get plenty of places to park, and it's all, you know, it's not like I'm on a lawn or anything. Okay, tutu, no problem. Take my car, back it up, small kind. Oh, okay, park over there. That's good, right there. Okay, whatever, boom. I'm sitting there talking to my friend. All of a sudden, boom, this coconut. I was parked under a coconut tree. I didn't even think about it. You know, for, you know Hawaii, right? Ooh, shade parking. <laughs> so boom, right? But guess what? That, that, um, that, that uh, coconut would have uh, totaled this Porsche 914. <laughs> I remember that day. Oh, man, I bent over backwards to buy that car. And uh, yeah, that was my, when my love affair with those cars that I shouldn't have been buying started. But bam, those, those you know, they have signs for, um, you know, uh, tourists, you know, if, and, and in, the, in the resorts, right, um, they, um, you know, they make sure they remove all that stuff. In fact, you know, the, uh, the, the uh, keavi trees, you know, they get the big uh, cuckoos or kukui, what we used to call them, uh, now I forget. But anyway, they're those giant thorns that'll go through your slipper, right? Yeah, <laughs> I remember being in this resort and they had a, a keavi tree, right, in there. But every morning, the groundskeepers would go there and pick up all the, you know, the, the, the thorns that fell on the ground, right? And I was sitting there, I was cracking up because you see the local people come, they see the, lo the they see the tree, right? They walk around, right? You see them, even though, because they don't know people picked up the thorns, right? And then the tourist walks right underneath the tree and pause and take pictures of the local people. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I don't like, you know, bust my slipper. <laughs> they go through there. Oh, man. I know. Uh, yeah, double-edged sword having coconut trees. That's how I remember Keavi thorns. Ouch! Yeah, that bugger. That, that Keavi uh, thorn, that, that's, the, that's the natural enemy of the rubber slipper. Yeah, that bugger go right through like knocked in. I know. That's why, uh, you know, why and I, um, you know, remember when they used to make the, um, the slipper out of old car tires that was popular for a while? But who oh, that bugger handle Keavi, asshole. You know, Keavi was introduced to Hawaii. Someone brought that plant here and planted it, thinking it would be a good idea. What? And I don't think they had charcoal in mind when they did that. You know, hey, I, I brought a little gift for the islands. Here, check this out. Oh, wow. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> Mahalo, where did you get the money to buy these uh, keavi trees? Oh, I, uh, I sell rubber slippers. <laughs>
Jimmy Rick, sorry I missed it. Happy birthday to you. Oh, I missed all the comments on that. Happy birthday, Jimmy Rick. Just one, Bruce. Thanks, Seth, for being here. thinking I should have a uh, happy birthday video you know that we play only when it's people's birthdays I think I'll work on that today afterwards yeah so what were we talking about Kiave and mongoose and oh yeah on all the things that were introduced to Hawaii people thought you know they'd be a good idea you know like uh, yeah Hawaii did not need Kiave or mongoose well the people who uh, you know um, expound um, Ke'ave as the best charcoal ever might disagree, but mongoose, pfft, you know, those, those are like, mongoose are like little biker squirrels. You know, I'm surprised I don't wear sunglasses and leather vests. Oh man, those buggers get some attitude. But you know what? <clears throat> I was watching a video the other day. Squirrels can scrap, you know. A lot of people think, oh, squirrel, squirrels were created by Disney and they're only cute with a big fluffy tail. I saw a video of this squirrel grinding one snake. Yeah, it came down and the snake was like, ah, squirrel, beat it. Ah, I know you get the, uh, you know, VHSs. Squirrel went, what? Whack! Boom! That squirrel was <laughs> just grinding his snake. I went, nah, no way. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh hey, I just got a, an email from, uh, oh, hey, look at this. Oh, babe, I wonder if I can get that over there. Uh, oh, or, or maybe I can do that thing again. Wait, hold on. Let me see. If I, if I highlight this. This is uh, this is Gary Brown. He just sent me an email that his uh, his dolly showed up. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, let's see if I can can I raise it there. Hey, oh no. Oh, oh, that's as big as it is. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh wow! Quick pick of the kind mainland Uber dolly. Uh, get tree positions. And this is for the Uber Dolly. All oh, right on. Look at that, brother. Get his. Uh, yeah, because Gary Brown is moving, right? So he ordered this uh, Dolly. Uh, you know, <clears throat> and you know, from now on, when you shoot stuff, back the camera up so the whole Dolly is in the wheel there. And you know, and your tripod there, it looks like it's connected to the handle. You might want to move that, but I like that. It looks like it's set up for a phone. Yeah, all this uh, cinematic stuff. See how the bottom wheel isn't in the frame, uh, Gary Brown? Yeah, and then I would back the couch up on the right and get those boxes out. Ooh, that would be a nice dolly shot. Listen, listen to me. Guy sends me an email and I'm directing. Sorry, can I help? Oh, you know, because when your only tool is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Mean. I don't cry when it rains no more 
or I get dirt on my shoes. I don't mind climbing eight more floors, cause these stairs are all heading. Nice dolly, yeah. Pneumatic tires. Dolly Envy. Wakefield, Kevin, all the way from Virginia, aloha, bro. King LV Aloha no Yes, happy and old. Yeah, that's all right there. Okay, we're going to um, look at here. Shakalaka, it says that Wakefield is not far from uh, Shakalaka's house. Hey, Wakefield Kevin. Well, you got a neighbor here on um, that Daily Pigeon Live. And to give you an idea of what your neighbor is like, okay, um, we're going to play her drop. This is uh, Shakalaka's drop. And then uh, we're going to play a video that she describes as starring the most slappable person on the internet. Okay? <laughs> Aloha, y'all. Shakalaka here from Eastern Virginia, getting ready to watch The Daily Pigeon Live with Andy Bumatai. I'm hanging out in my happy place. I got my happy base. There are some happy cats. We're going to have an hour and a half of good fun and good laughs. I can't wait.
hopla, we don't wanna go war. Only make hopla, we don't wanna go war. Does anyone else agree with Shaka Laka? And uh, uh, Kevin, if you're just joining us, you're wondering, what the heck was that? We, uh, we were goofing around for a while, and we were seeing how, much, uh, how many different types of dances would match reggae music. So that's, what's, that, that's what that was about. Uh, you're coming in on the end when we get a little crazy here. And uh, let's play one more just so you know that, uh, <clears throat> guess what? <laughs> We don't just mess around. We're going to play the Melvin song, and then afterwards we're going to go raid Liz K uh, TV. But this one takes us through that uh, art uh, district uh, where they let the uh, young people paint on the walls, and this was contributed by um, Melvin Lead. So uh, we're going to wrap the sh uh, show up with this. Good idea, Andre. <laughs> Mahalo, Cash King, for the 25 ducats in the bucket. Yeah, Wild Willie. Small kind cray cray. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, book book. I know you're talking about the uh, reggae. What is it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Surprised me. Yes, happy birthday to you, Jimmy Rick. Thanks for the 500. It's, over. Wow. it's gone. Never more anything to remember. Remember. You had your chance, so this is goodbye. I'll be riding along the hurt, riding away. Andre, mahalo for the 208 biddies. And book, book, Chris Graves. 
Mahalo to you for the nice words. Thanks, Aaron. Aloha no, lona po uli uli. Spark you later. Scotland, how's it? Just made it in under the wire. The hurt riding away. Right on, Kevin. The cries. We start at 6 a.m. Hawaii time. From you, my love. If you follow, you'll get a notification adjusted to your time zone. There you go, and uh, mahalo for joining us here on the Daily Pigeon Live. Uh, my name is Andy Bumatai, and um, <clears throat> I appreciate you being here. Um, we um, are here every morning on Twitch. Hold on. Um, on Twitch, 6 a.m. every morning. I think today is, I forget, it's in the description how many days in a row we have uh, been um broadcasting shows mahalo for being here uh, a special thanks to all the people who cheered supporting the daily pigeon live the gift subs broken soul went off today mahalo for that you baga and for all the people who um you know are just here i know it, it sounds cliche sometimes but you know without you guys we have nothing you know everyone always says oh hey man your show is cool like what's well, not me it's the hamajang gang and for the new people yes uh we call the people in the chat the hamajang gang Ho uh in hawaiian pidgin english hamajang means you know all boss up any kind mix up and that's what we certainly are so mahalo for all the gangers uh, for being here the gangi thanks al and um now we're gonna go raid liz k tv